Jackson County's back to school training for teachers includes active shooter safety training. All 525 teachers participated in today's session that involved hands on first aid training, knowing where to locate safety equipment and learning what to say to students. As News 13's Jake Holter tells us, teachers said the training was invaluable. A school shooting can happen anywhere. That's why Jackson County School District safety officials hold a mandatory safety training for all educators and staff. Second grade teacher Megan Trimble says she is grateful the district puts on these workshops. We want to have these trainings so we know what to do and our children and our parents feel safe in the environment that they're in so they can learn and, and not have to worry about these kind of things because we're already planned and prepared. Teachers learned where to locate safety equipment, how to stop bleeding, and the best way to keep kids safe in an active shooter situation. Fifth grade teacher DJ Gray believes it's all about being prepared. The day and the age that we're living in now, of course, you know, we need to be mindful of all the things that are happening for us. And then the most important thing is the safety of our students. So we need to know these type of things. And we are such a small knit community. Everybody does know everybody. but. You never know what might happen in this day and age, so we do need to know these things. They also reviewed other school district precautions like one entrance to schools, staff ID badges, at least one school resource deputy on each campus, visitor check-in, and mental health counselors at all schools. The number one thing that I wanted the teachers and staff to walk away with today was uh, keep safety on the forefront. Um, we, we, again, we have a lot of things, great things happening in this district, uh, but safety be, needs to be at the top of the list. In Marietta, Jay Coulter, News 13, Panhandle Strong. New this year, school resource deputies will be checking to see if teachers in Jackson County have locked their classroom doors during instruction time.